Uh, Major General Sir George Parr, uh, you're a senior official at the Ministry of Defence. Yes. And the British Army is currently going through a very difficult period, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> well, uh, for example, the, the conviction of three British soldiers in, in Cyprus last week for the murder of a young woman by battering her to death with a, with a spade. Yes, yes. The Deputy Commander in uh, Cyprus, uh, Brigadier Arthur Dinaro, uh, said that we should put this incident into perspective. Um, what do you think he meant by that? It's difficult to know, really, isn't it? Um, I, I suppose he must have meant that there are three quarters of a million people living in Cyprus and we only killed one of them. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad proportion, really. Is it? <laughs> But, but this is the sort of thing that the army always says after such an incident, isn't it? I mean, you just close ranks and, and protect your own. Oh, uh, well, I mean, these three men have, have nothing whatever to do with the army. <laughs> in, in, in what sense? Well, in the sense that, that we, we, there is a rule in the army, that, 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 and a very good one, I think, that, that um, uh, you are immediately dismissed from the army as soon as you murder somebody. <laughs> Well, unless you're doing it as part of your work, of course. Um, and, and, and that's what happened here. But this is the problem, isn't it, with a professional army in, yes. in peacetime. I mean, the, 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 the men that were heroes when they were fighting in the Falklands or in the Gulf uh, are the very same men that you'd run a mile from if you met them in a pub on a Saturday well, this night. Is, this, yeah, yes, of course, they're very same men. This is, this, is, this, is what, this is what we're faced with. It's a paradox. I mean, if, if you were set on by, by a, a, a lout um, with a broken bottle, um, I mean, who do, who do you want to come to your, your defence? Would you want some, some sensitive, liberal, guardian-reading person who, who comes off and says, you know, let, let, let's sit down and talk about this? <laughs> or, or do you want a, a bigger lout with a bigger broken bottle? That's, that's, <laughs> that's what you want. Yes, is, tell me, is this, is, this the thinking, <laughs> is this the thinking behind not wanting uh, homosexual men and women in the armed forces? Sorry, what do you mean, thinking? Um... <laughs> well, I mean, the, the assumption the, 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 that homosexuals are somehow more sensitive and more liberal-minded than, than others. I think it's rather a crude stereotype, isn't it? Um, <laughs> then, really. then why don't you want them in the armed forces? We don't like them. <laughs> and, and how... How do you know that you don't? Because, because we like had a survey. We had a sur we surveyed. Yeah, really. um, we surveyed the, uh, the armed forces, and mm -hmm. we, we had a random sample of, 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 of opinion. Mm -hmm. And we asked. We asked them. We asked. Uh, what, asked them what sort of question? Well, um, if you were asleep at night in your barracks in your bed, would you want a suddenly to be woken up in the middle of the night by a limp wristed, um, <laughs> perfumed person with heavy makeup? Clambering on top of you, putting their, their sexual organ into your bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I. Uh, <clears throat> of course. <laughs> um, there is there is a parallel here, isn't there, with the with the problem. Uh, the problem of, of racism, because um, only, only last week the uh, Commission for Racial Equality came down very hard on the Ministry of Defence mm. for the treatment of, of blacks in, in the army, of both physical and, and, and uh, verbal well, abuse. Well, I mean, people being called coons and black bastards, that, that sort of thing. Sorry, you said abuse. Uh, <laughs> well, 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 I think, where, I think if, if, if you were black, I think that might be thought of as, as abusing. Well, I suppose if you, if you are looking for nuances of, 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 of particularly hypersensitive, yes, I suppose you might, you, you might, you might think that, yes. Yeah. Um, but but you, I, you know, I don't think it's, it's, just, it's just affectionate banter, really, isn't it? I mean, I, I've been called squiffy all my life. It, it, it's never worried me very much. But it just, it just seems to me, you see, that since it's, since it's obvious that, that the army dislikes uh, blacks just as much as it dislikes homosexuals, why don't you just have a survey about that and get the answer you want and then kick the blacks out? Well, we could, for example, operate the policy we don't, we don't want to, we could, that the American army uses, which is called about homosexuals, which is um, uh, don't ask, don't tell. Mm -hmm. 
You can't do that so easily with, with black people. If you like. <laughs> the, 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 the army needs to trust. Mm -hmm. The people in the army, it's a close thing. They, they need to trust their mates, you see, and they, and then they, and homosexuals, you, you can't. You can't uh, trust them, you see, because as, um, as Miss Porter has said, the people in the army are living literally on top of each other. <laughs> I see. In that case, if society is being defended by the army, shouldn't the army reflect the ethnic diversity of this society? I mean, this, after all, is the argument for having black police officers. Well, no, the police and the army are two different things. The police work directly <laughs> with members of the public, the army doesn't. And the police, we don't ask the police to kill people. I mean, they do kill people, and, <laughs> um, but uh, only inadvertently. And, um, and then, curiously enough, blacks. But, but, um, <laughs> but we, we, we don't ask them to do that as, as, as a matter of course. No. And in any case, I think the, the army does reflect society. I mean, you would say British society was homophobic and racist, why, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Well, there you are. <laughs> General Parr, thank you very much Thanks indeed.